Hi, welcome. This is 20 creation apps in 20 minutes. Um, if you need more information about the presentation, you can go to www.edtechspeeddating.com and all the info is under the presentation page. And you can follow me on Twitter at LD112265. I'm going to go away. You're not going to see my ugly mug anymore because with Keynote, you can't do something like present me. And so I'm just going to go through it with the slides. All right, so got that information. Now this is 20 creation apps in 20 minutes. My name is Dave Lockhart. I'm a social studies teacher at North Atlanta High School in Buckhead, in the Buckhead part of Atlanta. And I work for Atlanta Public Schools. Um, something interesting about my high school, I actually teach on the 8th floor of 11. Now our agenda today. Our agenda today. First, I'm going to tell you a little bit about me, then some goals and disclaimers, and then we're going to get to those good old 20 apps. Ah, you smell like a winner. Now, about me, I've been a teacher for 10 years. This is my third year at North Atlanta. I'm married with three kids. They all look much better than I do. I have a bachelor's in social studies education from Moorhead State in Kentucky and a master's in instructional technology from Lesley University in Massachusetts. I've actually never set foot on the Lesley University campus because it was a cohort group. I've heard it's across from Harvard, whatever that means. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at LD112265 or you can visit edtechspeeddating.com, my site. Now what's this session all about? It's app speed dating. And what I mean by that is I go to conferences and I get tired of sessions that only really give me one resource or res and give me one resource that I already know. So this is 20 creation apps. So you again, the whole idea is that you find one thing you can use and that you go play with them and see if you really like them. Yeah, baby, yeah! All due respect, sir. I believe this is going to be our finest hour. So that makes the goal. Just find one thing you can use. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. So some disclaimers. First, there's an effort made to not include two apps with the same functionality. In some cases it works, but in others it doesn't. Secondly, I'm an Apple nerd. So the apps trend towards iOS devices, but I try to make it know when Android's also involved. I also try to exclude apps that everyone knows unless I could add something new. So obviously YouTube could be considered a creation app, I guess, um, but it's not on here. There, the fourth disclaimer, there's a multitude of apps and software that have similar functionality. If you like the concept of what I show you, but you don't want a different user experience, you can find it. Um, for number five, many things can be posted on your own site using HTML code. You get the HTML snippet. Um, and if you don't know how to do this, look into this. You can post things like your Twitter feed on there. And then the other thing is, I'm a high school teacher. I love the kindergarten and first grade teachers because I've got the I've got a kindergartner and first grader of my own. But there's no cute let's learn math apps on here. So the so the apps first is iLife. iLife is apps that are on all Macs and you can get them on all iOS devices. Um, iLife is basically I, Apple's creation suite. And so if you have Macs, iLife gives students the ability to do project-based learning, things like creating videos, um, working with photos, creating sound. And the programs, really where these programs are good is they are, take less time to teach. They're simple to use. GarageBand is one of those, GarageBand especially is one of those programs that you can do all kinds of complex stuff with it. There's bands that record full albums on it. Or you can do something as simple as recording your own voice for a podcast. And it also includes, and so the iLife suite includes GarageBand, iMovie, and in older versions, it includes iWeb, which is their website builder. So to give you an example of a project-based learning type thing, um, I'm going to show you one of my students. And the, object, the whole objective here was to create a commercial for the territories people were expanding to in the early 1800s. And if you... The kids that did this knew I was an Apple nerd, and so if you've ever seen the Apple product launch videos, this is very familiar. It's very similar. If you've ever, and what I mean by those is the ones with the British guy Johnny Ivy telling you how great the Apple product is.
We have taken a territory that was once completely good. We have completely revolutionized the state. Amazing. We have re-engineered grass to be a full 25 percent sweeter. The land is fertile with grassy plains that are actually flatter than ever. We have actually allowed civilians new opportunities for hunting buffalo. In Kansas, we have completely redefined the experience of hunting, logging, and grazing animals into extinction. How about Indians? It's now easier than ever to come see Indians for yourself. You can even go live on their land. Just take it from them. Who cares? Kansas is the result of public for the first time ever, you have the choice whether you want slaves or not. We here in Kansas have left the option of slavery up to the user. And that was where I really like it because it includes things like popular sovereignty with Kansas um, in that video. Number two is Weebly. And Weebly is a great site. It's an easy-to-use website builder. The reason I went to Weebly is because all of my sites and all these like great little web quests that I built had been on iWeb and with MobileMe. And when Apple switched to iCloud, they got rid of MobileMe hosting. And I'm, not go I'm looking at it going, I'm not going to buy URLs for all these sites. And so I found Weebly. Weebly is drag and drop website creation. It allows you to add anything you need, things like videos, documents, HTML code, and more. And then the other thing with Weebly is this is a good lesson to learn about apps online, especially Web 2.0 apps. If it's something that can be used in education, always look to see if it has an education site. With Weebly, if you go on Weebly.com, you only get two free websites. If you go on education.weebly.com and you register as a teacher, you get 40 free student accounts. Number three is MyCreate. MyCreate is an iPad app, and it takes the iPad and it uses the camera to take pictures for stop motion animation. If you've ever wanted to do stop motion animation, this makes it so easy. All you have to do is point and click and take the pictures. The app does everything else. I am the president. It's what I say. I think it's time to get jiggy with it. And obviously, if you've ever seen Extra Normal, this is Extra Normal. Extra Normal is a site where you can create animations, and it allows you to pick characters and make them talk by just simply writing text. Students can use this for a, for a whole bunch of different projects. One of the ways that I like to let students use this is if it's a video project and they don't want to film themselves, this is a way to go. And I've had kids do great video projects with Extra Normal. The one issue with Extra Normal is that about five years ago, they had a Super Bowl commercial. And they became popular after the Super Bowl commercial. And so now this, it cost a little more than it did back then. And so that's why I added. I am an android. I just want to be an iPhone. Can I be? No, I am more awesome. You're so awesome. iPhone. I am just not. I know. Go animate. Go animate is very similar to, to Extra Normal. It allows you to create animations through talk and text. Um, it's a little more to the free side. Number six is UJAM. UJAM is basically an online editor like GarageBand or Audacity. It's an online audio editor. So what the nice thing about UJAM is it doesn't matter what computer you have. You can always use UJAM. And you could have students do things like create radio commercials through UJAM. Number seven is Stencil. Stencil is an e is you can easily create games for both Flash and iOS, and it allows you to create things like your own review games. Now, number eight is I Build App, and this is something that you, as a teacher, are probably going to have to, if you keep teaching for the next ten years, have to learn how to do. And it becomes especially easy and especially prevalent with sites like I Build App that make web app building drag and drop. You can build your own apps with a simple to use online interface. And so as more teachers are building on in-depth interactive websites, this is the next step. And it works with both iOS and Android. I will tell you from experience that the iOS part is complicated. It takes quite a bit to get through the iOS app store. Android's fairly easy. But you, if you really got some money in your back pocket, you can pay them to do all the work.
And this is drag on tape. Drag on tape is you can make mixtapes with YouTube videos. And it has protections against things like copyright violations. So, for instance, one of the ways it protects is you actually search for the user, the YouTube video within the drag on tape um, app. And if a user on YouTube takes their video from public to private, it takes that out of the search. Because on drag on tape, you can only use public videos. It also has an iPad app. Number 10 is capsules. Capsules allows you to create timelines with multimedia. You can use pictures, audio, video, documents, text, music, and it has an, I an iPhone app. Number 11 is Storyfy. And Storyfy tells stories via social media, such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Flickr, and more. And this Storyfy actually doesn't work, but we'll go to Storyfy so I can show you one. Well, it actually did work today. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Well, but what this is, is it's you can tell a story with social media. And so you, th you see things like WordPress pictures, um, Yim, whatever that is, but um, YouTube, Twitter, uh, Twitter, um, things like Instagram can be on here. And that it's, so it's a really neat way to tell a story. And it's especially good with things like current events because obviously that would be posted to social media quite a bit. Now, number 12 is ThingLink. ThingLink, you can create rich images with video, sound, text, and more. Basically, each image has markers that open up to something more, and I'll show you a ThingLink. So if you look at this one, this is a picture of the space shuttle. If you click on stuff, click on the little dots, the little markers, it takes you to things like YouTube. And so now you can go and see a space shuttle launch. It can also take you to things like Wikipedia and tell you about the space shuttle. Thirteen is Xpita. Xpita allows you to create your own comics. Some students are very into comics and this would be a way for them to do things like tell a story and do, pro do project-based storytelling. Fourteen is Wii Video. It's very similar to UJAM in the fact that you don't need the iLife suite anymore. It, but it's a video editor. It's a full suite to edit videos online. And it means that you don't need iMovie or Windows Movie Maker. And it does not matter what computer you have. It also has both an iOS and Android app to capture video and pictures in order to upload to Wii Video. And then you can edit on Wii Video. 15 is Collabricam. Collabricam allows you to connect four iOS devices to another device and you can edit and shoot video from all angles. Basically the way it works is you align four devices as your cameras and then one device as your director. And as those things shoot, they go to the director's device and they can edit it together to make a video. And so you can easily create and edit videos from all sorts of angles on one app. 16 is Widio. Widio allows you to build animations free, easy, and online. It's great for, again, it's great for that student who does not want to be in a video for a project. 17 is Appfolio. Appfolio is a really neat new app. What it does is it creates, you put pictures and videos together, and you can create brochures, presentations, catalogs, portfolios um, with those pictures and videos. And you can actually turn them into an app that you can add to the Apple Store, you can add to the Kindle Store, and you can also add to the Google Play Store. So you can actually easily make an app through this. 18 is Erasma. Erasma is an iOS and Android app, and it's an augmented reality app. And what that means is you have a real-time picture, like the picture of Big Ben right here, and if you look on the iPad that he has, he's got Big Ben in the real-time picture, but he also has the DeLorean from Back to the Future. So it takes pictures, and you can overlay in real time, and you can overlay rich media on them, such as things like animations, 3D models, videos, and web pages. You can also search for others on here. So if you have kids looking at other territories and other countries in the world, they can search for Erasma um, Augmented Reality. 19 is the book creator. Book creator is an ease is a easily 
built did you can easily build digital books on the iPad. Apple of course has their iBook creator that's a Mac download, but if you don't have a Mac, this allows you to do it straight from your iPad. And you can share those books through Google Drive, Dropbox, and PDF. You can also publish those books to the iBook store this way. And now number 20 is Vokey. Vokey allows you to create talking avatars. Um, and I've seen where I've seen people use this, it can have a whole bunch of different uses, but what I've seen people use this is through administrators delivering their messages because they can actually design the avatar around them. And so we'll click on the Vokey. Do I make you hungry? Happy Turkey Month! And so obviously that could be something that you could use for a lot of different ways. And so that's your 20 creation apps. And let me remind you, this is on edtechspeeddating.com and it's under presentations. And from that you can actually see my 60 and 60 series where you have 60 and 60, a 60 and 60, 60 apps in 60 minutes general presentation, a 60 apps in 60 minutes for colleges, a 60 apps, 60 apps in 60 minutes that you may not know, and a 60 apps in 60 minutes for iOS is coming soon. And you can also follow me on Twitter at LD112265.